Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the civil war taking place inside the former state of Ethiopia. And uh, first, we're going to have a look at uh, the Tigray region. And by uh, all appearances, uh, this appears to be a frozen conflict uh, as we speak. Obviously, uh, what transpired in South Africa uh, is not happening. Uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces are not going to commit national suicide by disarming while the Eritrean military is still in northern Tigray. And there are still Abi loyalist forces in southern Tigray and other areas in Tigray as we speak. Simply not going to happen. Given the nature of a BMED, of Isaiah Safwerki, again, disarming the Tigrayan Defense Forces, demobilizing, is not in the best interest of the Tigray region, of the Tigray people. What I think has happened is a genius coup by the Tigrayan leadership. They have essentially stopped the war, froze the war in place. They have given themselves the ability to recoup, reconstitute, reorganize, retrain, re-equip units, and in all likelihood are doing that as we speak. While they continue to control most of the Tigray region, meaning they, the Tigrayan Defense Forces. The Eritrean army is having to supply itself, and we all know of the supply issues, the logistical issues that the Eritrean army has in northern Tigray. We know of the logistical issues that the Abi loyalist forces have in the Tigray region as well. Compounding this is the ongoing success of the Oromo Liberation Army. We are seeing the OLA conduct operations and do things that we have never seen before. And that's taken whole territory. So now obviously we're looking west of the capital Addis Ababa, also known as Finfine. And we are seeing more and more towns, highlighted in yellow, being taken over by the Oromo Liberation Army. Many of these towns are now fully supporting, meaning the civil populace is now fully supporting the Oromo Liberation Army. We have heard reports of the massing of uh, a B loyalist forces with the possibility of these forces moving into some of these areas that have been captured or have evicted the Abi loyalist government forces. At the same time, many of these units are refusing to move into these areas. Given the uh, highly likelihood of ambush by the OLA, especially in some of these more desolate areas some of these more rural areas of western Oromia. Because again, the population appears, right now at least, not to be sympathetic towards the Prosperity Party, not to be sympathetic towards Obi Ahmed and his, and his army. So very, very interesting situation developing as the OLA continues to take territory, continues to hold territory. Mindy, Nedjo, Nekempte is surrounded, and then other areas as well, even areas close to the capital. So we'll continue to watch what is happening again the conflict in Tigray is essentially frozen with the Tigrayan Defense Forces continuing to tr control uh, major areas of the country Adigrat, Makele, Maichu they have areas near Adwa surrounded 
the Atrian army units are still having difficulty near Adwa, near Shire, to the north, to the west. Again, the areas in green are controlled by the TDF. So we'll continue to watch, report, and bring you more content in terms of what is happening on the ground. Again, frozen con conflict. We anticipate that at a certain point, it could become unfrozen, unfortunately. Now the question is, what does the TDF do next? Obviously, not demobilizing, not handing over weapons, and uh, out of self-preservation, rightfully so, it should not. So we'll continue to, again, monitor, report, and bring you more content for your consumption. Thank you for joining us. More to come. Have a good day.